Hey everyone, Wheels here with a reminder to subscribe because there's still 91% of you watching right now that aren't subbed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. Thanks everyone, enjoy the video. And he's past the 25, tackled at the 29, 5% on third down this year. Johnson, it's an underneath throw and it's wide of cold. If they want to be competitive in year two. Second and 12, Corral keeps it over the top. He's got a wide open receiver. Casey Kelly, only one catch on the year. He's the man. Games, they're not very proficient in this area of the field. Corral to the end zone. Touchdown. How about the catch from Braylon Sanders? It seems fitting. Braylon but makes an incredibly acrobatic catch. Body control up and around. Great job by Braylon Sanders. Only had 11 catches. Out just outside the red zone. On third and five, it's a first down strike to Boutte, and he's inside the twist of Cade York field goal attempt. Johnson wants a first down. And he kicks it right through there. He's just one of the best in the business. Now 15 of Henry Parrish is in the backfield with Corral. And Corral will throw, and it's a pick six, maybe. Watch out, Jay Ward, touchdown. Stingley stench and Jay Ward has stepped up and picked it off Dwight McLaughlin last week. This was telegraphed. It was. Trying to get it to Jonathan Mingo on the outside and Ward a pick six and the defense is on the board for the Tigers. Seeking to get this offense going for LSU. Corral escapes first down into LSU territory. Fifth and a fourth and three in LSU territory. Corral throws the deep ball and is picked off again. Stepping in front is Todd Harris, and that's the second one Corral has thrown here in the first quarter. But flags come in as we might have a late hit. In the return, personal foul, intercepting team number 23. Unnecessary hit on the quarterback. 15 yard penalty from the end of the play. First down, LSU. Greater, but already with a pick six. Johnson stands tall, throws a strike to Boutte. And after the catch, he gets back to where about Ole Miss had the ball. With this year, through all the opt-outs and injuries and losses of coaches, Max Johnson, his new quarter. Thrilled to wake up every day and get to coach this Tiger team. Williams on a second and nine. And Josh puts his foot in the ground, cuts it back to the middle of the field. First person kept it in his right arm. Try it again. Johnson gets the push. Touchdown. You know, we talk about playing with his dad. I don't know that Brad Johnson was ever denied on a QB sneak to get the LSU offense in the end zone. 17. See if they do it tonight to keep themselves undefeated going into the playoff. Ely from midway back in his own end zone. Wise decision. Look at this. Ely gets through there. 105 yards. He took that ball from five yards deep in the end zone. I'm sitting here going, what is the kid doing? This is a terrible decision. Rip more than five yards. He's almost eight <laughs> yards deep. I sure did. Jerry on Ely said, I said, forget it. I just got a head. I got a full head of steam by the time I'm on the field of play. Nice blocking downfield, too, by the Ole Miss Rebel kick return team. And Logan. Makes it 17 for the kickoff return for a touchdown. You might have bought yourself an extra minute of actual time. Corral wanted to punt, instead keeps it himself. 
and he gets the terrific explanation there. All of us would like to eliminate it. It's just, it's impossible to measure if the player's actually hurt. Corral showing off these legs into the LSU secondary. Jackson. 51 y rushing yards for Corral. Faking the handoff to Ely, trying to load up Gay. Got a hand on it and got the football. And Corral's climbing in the pocket. And Gay is just retracing really on, the field as the defense on his pass First down, LSU. So you see the play fake. Corral comes off it. And he ends up having to move off of his spot. It was Neil Farrell Jr. that ended up pushing him off his spot. Gay strips the football and then pick. Oh, Miss is so confused on defense. Lane Kiffin was trying to get a timeout. Instead, it's a first down, and it's a touchdown for Bute. You're right, Taylor. Ole Miss was confused. Did not know. Great job by the Tiger defense setting up their offense. Hudson throws a strike. The Tiger offense able to put up another six points. Corral goes underneath to Jerry on his edge rushes. This time, Corral keeps it himself. And it's another first down. Up some positive yardage on first down and convert. Throws a little pass to Parrish. Parrish gets a block, and he has a first down inside the 10, down near the 5. Conservative play calling, and Parrish pays it off with a touchdown. You're missing Double. your top two targets in the offense at wide receiver and tight end. Keep everything right in front of you. And jumped ahead of Snoop Connor behind Jerry on Ely as, care, as a ball carrier. But you have to think Iowa State sitting at number six for a reason to make that Big 12 championship look a little prettier. Johnson, just the easiest pitch and catch with all being a 15 0 season in the national championship. That was a long yard to go, and still quarterback keeper for him to plug up the middle. Now Johnson wants to go back to the air again. Plenty of time to find Palmer. In that suspect old nip in the shotgun. Johnson will throw to the end zone. Bute wide open. Third straight 100 yard game for Bute. Another to start the second half. Play is, the game clock is running down near 30 seconds now. Corral in trouble, and that's gonna be picked off. Another bad decision by Corral, and Jabril Cox picks it off. He has 10 career interceptions, now three with the LSU. Have one timeout remaining. Johnson, and the design quarterback keeper never could get out of the grasp of San from 33 yards. And we will go to the half. 34, 20. Now back out of the backfield. Corral stays upright, loads up. Way down there, one on one, and it's picked off. That's Ward again. And that's the fifth pickoff of the game for LSU. Or are they going to be able to get off big chunk yardage plays offensively? And this is caught by Moore making a move back to the field and right near a shoot this year. He had Jamar Chase opt out at the beginning of the season. He was a guy that this coaching staff said they needed to step up immediately. Johnson in that pistol set. Here come the Rebels to the end zone and too far. Tigers. York is phenomenal outside of 50. And he's been automatic with the chip shots today. Fast forward to Eli's sophomore year in high school. He came to camp here at LSU. Sean Nation and the Army All-American game MVP and now ends up here as a defensive back for Ed Orgeron at LSU. To Braylon Sanders before that Parrish carry. 
Leads Parrish again to the end zone. Touchdown. That's his first rushing touchdown of the season, and it's a 10-yarder. And we'll see if Coach Kiffin thinks it's too early to go for two. Now how about that for an answer? Back to Plumlee, can't get the ball, and down he goes. Lots of trickeration, and Ali miss after Matt Corral threw six interceptions against Arkansas earlier this year. It was a big conversation that we had with him, asked him, did you consider taking him out? Did you consider making the change? And he said, absolutely. Not at the top of the screen. To the ground, first down for Parrish in the Tiger territory. Stays up on his feet. Thinking a pass right there, and Ole Miss takes advantage. Corral pumps, keeps it himself. Look at this. Inside the, the 10, first and goal, Rebels. Over the top, touchdown, Drummond. How long Matt Corral rode that play fake. 37 34. Fake the snoop. Corral first down on the season. 30 times they've gone for it on fourth down this year. Corral, first down throw to Drummond and inside the 30, and now the Rebels are in business. Ontario Drummond with a 31-yard catch to get him to the 25, and on the first play of the zone, Braylon Sanders, touchdown! Great protection, clean pocket, hangs it up. Stevens can't get over, take the lead. And it's barely through there in the rain on the season. Never seen anything like that before. Max Johnson across the middle. Boutte's been wide open right there in the Ole Miss defense all night long. And he's very quickly into their It was not the beginning of the second half we anticipated. Johnson, Boutte. 50 yards passing in the game. Looking for more. And the lead. Instead, it's underthrown, and he throws his first career interception, A.J. Finley. Well, A.J. flipping up big, not only in the pass rush, but versus the run stunts as well. Corral, first down. First half, he was forcing balls up. Now he's tucking and running. Back to the air. Mingo with his first catch time. My Macarrell and his touch. Parrish. First down for Ole Miss. He's definitely got some twitch to him with the ball in his hand. Snoop Connor. Snoop. Down inside the five. Wouldn't share something with the line judge. Snoop Connor. Fake to him, Corral walks it in. Actually, the only person that stopped him was an official. It is a touchdown for Ole Miss, and we hope that official's okay. Well, the headlinesman thought that he handed the ball off. 48-40, LSU's own 47, just over eight minutes left. Johnson, again it's Boutte. Down to the 36 yard. Really great performance in Tiger Stadium. To the ground they go, and it's Bradford, and it's a first down run. Bradford's in the backfield with Johnson. Johnson looks to Butte to the one. It's behind him. Tries to dive in there. Johnson throws incomplete. Jalen Jordan. Andre Anthony floating around. Now it's Baskerville. Corral wants to take off, but he's got no place to go. He's in all kinds of trouble. Trying to get rid of it down the field and can't. What a big loss. Neil Farrell with the sack. Down a little bit here. 
And Bradford, he's got the first down, at least right at it. Johnson, all day. Another delivery to Butte. They can't stop this guy. Look at this. Touchdown, Tigers. your stats now over 300 yards another touchdown sets a record for LSU Keishon Boutte a true freshman 53 48 and hear it third and ten Corral escapes first down on this and in some players are gassed look at them now Corral to the sideline, Mingo's got it. Out of bounds, still has those two timeouts. Here's the pressure again. Corral wants to take off. He won't get much and he lost the football. Jacoby Stevens has it. Really on the field is a fumble recovered by LSU. 